So shout out to this creator, I Got Game. I stumbled across this video and I watched about the first four minutes of it. And I pretty much disagreed with like almost everything he said. So I wanted to react to it because this is an interesting video. I highly recommend marrying black men. A lot of Arab and brown women are reaching out and they're trying to find black men. And I say black men are kind. They're very secure in their masculinity. They're also gentle. They're also not like, like, I see this a lot in the Arab community because they grew up in it. Men get very shy that their women are, are out there or their women work or their woman does something. And black men are very chill and secure about it. Like she's on her dean, she's respecting herself. I'm not going to feel shy about this. And that's a huge cultural difference that I definitely appreciate from marrying a black man. So do yourself a favor, ladies. Find yourself a black man. What do you guys think about videos like that? To the black man. I personally don't like it. I don't want people campaigning to date black women. I don't, I don't, it makes me feel like, ugh. you know what I'm saying? If, if, I saw, if, I, if I was talking to a woman from a different race and I saw a video on her social media and she's like, oh my goodness, I just love black men. Everyone should date black men. I'm going to be like, ah, you're giving me the ick. You're giving me the ick. You should leave America. Did you know that a two bedroom apartment in the hood in America is $2,000? Whereas rent in the UK in the hood is 400 pounds? You guys are tripping. And if you're wondering, why does this girl live in the hood? I've lived in a safe neighborhood my whole life. It is boring. But when you live in the hood, it is so freaking exciting. Like yesterday, my neighbor accused me of breaking into her car. And I was like, wow. She The hood is exciting! Man, man. <laughs> I must have been, I must have been living in a different type of hood. I must have been living somewhere different. What are you what are you actually encouraging? You encouraging people to go and actively willingly live in poverty? Uh, but because black guys live in the hood? Oh, oh, oh. Things I could break into her car? I'm belonging. You need to obey your parents if they are straight out doing something that is un-Islamic. And preventing you from marrying a Muslim man just because of his skin color is un-Islamic. So shut that down. Respectfully say no and, you know, do your thing. At the moment, it is the African's decade. The yeah, African's it is. Well, You're not winning got, right now. Got... Bro, there's not one Arab girl that's not married to um, a black guy. <laughs> well, well. Yeah, we're, we're moving in. We're moving in. At the moment, it is the Africans' decade. The yeah, Africans. it is. You're not winning right now. Bro, there's not one Arab girl that's not married to um, a black guy. <laughs> well, well. Yeah, we're, we're, we're moving in. We're moving in. Now listen up here and pay attention closely. And her affection for black men, she's a real Arab females, okay? So most likely, she will marry herself a black man. Ask Petty Tupac. I made this post and... Some people disagree. I'll read it to you. She's smoking? <laughs> is she burning? Is she... She's smoking in the whip? Okay, black men who associate with more Arab women do better than other black men because we provide something black women can't, like submissiveness to parent households, no attitude, we don't date men for purses, we know when to be quiet we don't this is this is where i'm like this is where i'm like i can't i can't get down with this i know a lot of you guys are probably gonna disagree but if you want to prop yourself up do that right but then you're putting nah i'm sorry I don't want praise for being wild and ratchet and we have real hair no offense but it's the truth what? All right, how, how much of these videos left? All right, let's just skip to the next one because uh, <laughs> I'm not taking part in this. I'm not taking part in this. The, 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 that, that's racist. I'm sorry. You know what I hear a lot of Middle Eastern guys saying these days? They're like, I don't want to marry an Arabic girl because I have to pay for the wedding. And then she wants a wedding planner. She's going to spend hours explaining to the wedding planner what she wants when she can just call the florist and send her a picture off of Pinterest and it's done. Then she wants me to buy the house that she wants me to hire an interior decorator for when she's a professional shopper and she's in the same stores that the interior decorator is going to be at anyways. And then, fast forward, she's going to divorce me and take half of everything anyways. I might as well marry a white girl that's going to pay for everything with me. That way, when she divorces me, 
It's her cup. Anyways, she earned it. She paid for it. Why do I need an Arabic girl? And on top of the Arabic girl is going to bring me her mother and her sisters. They're going to be at my house all day. But then my parents are never going to be in my house because it's not comfortable for her. Your mom is too opinionated, but her mom's not opinionated. <laughs> Makes sense, right? But you got to think as well, right? These Arab men are complaining about providing, according to this lady. When Arab women, in terms of wives, they do their job. Like they're complaining about how much they have to provide even though these women are doing their job. Whereas women in the West, they don't do nothing. But they expect everything that the Arab women expect. So imagine how Western men feel. <laughs> hey, hey, it's crazy out here. You see now, another thing you must understand about dating Arabs is that they are used to being spoiled or they like being spoiled. Why you think their men have to make sure they have money? They have to open up stores in black hoods and black communities. Because if they don't have the money, they're not sticking around. You know, and that's why I, I feel like that's just women in general. Like, I'm pretty sure one of the leading, like, as soon as a man in a marriage loses his job, like, the divorce rates just go crazy. Like, the likelihood of divorce just, you know, women, women, women like money. <laughs> like, every race, any women like money. The groups of people, they focus so much on not supporting black businesses. And they don't want black men to have money. They like to see you in poverty. Because like that, you won't be able to take their woman. You understand? That's why they don't support black businesses. But Arabs, they like guys with money. They want to be spoiled. Just like Asian, white. You know these other groups. So, other races don't support black businesses because they want to see us in poverty. So that we don't take their women. That's a very... I've never heard that take before. That is a very interesting take, to say the least. I, very event i've never heard i've never heard it before if you a black guy long as you have a good job or you're making good money you can't sleep with them it is wild wednesday and i'm gonna get wild and offensive with my videos because i think it's time somebody digs deep into our culture and into our people to figure out what is going on upstairs with our women divorce is on the rise more than ever among middle easterns whether they live in the middle east or abroad and just like we saw among Westernized countries like America, when the women became independent is when the family structures collapsed. They, they collapsed to the point where now women are waking up and saying, you know what, I want a home again. I want my kids to have a healthy home. Well, the Middle Easterns are not there. We are at the point where we are collapsing because not only are women independent asking for a divorce, but we also have culture shock. A lot of our women are extremely spoiled. Yes, I said it. A lot of our women are extremely spoiled and the men cannot keep up. What is happening with our women? We went from a point- Feminism. Where Arab men used to tell each other, marry her young, so you can raise her your way, which is not right either. Come to find out, you cannot raise a woman because we get to a point where we know what we want. And did you guys know that 70% of divorces are initiated by women and of those women 90% of them are college educated are they sick of the abuse and they want out because they know they can support themselves or do they no longer want to make the sacrifice for their marriage let's talk about it you know all these non-black women they really want a black man they don't want to deal with their own race of men because the people who are racist, you know, like the Indian, the Arab, the Latino, who tell their daughters not to date black guys or their sons not to date black girls, they have the most problems in their relationships. That's right. That's the reason why they have to be racist to try and keep their daughters or their sons away from dating black people because that's who they truly desires and wants to be with. If not, why would you have to teach them to be like that? If you didn't think... They will sleep with the black guy. Why do you have to teach them or train them to be racist? You're doing that out of fear. So that's what you must understand that these racist groups, they really want to date a black guy or a black female. You are right. Racism and fear, there's elements of fear in racism, right? A lot of these races do fear their children dating black people. It's true. And although the statistics from dating apps, for example, put black men as the second most desirable behind white men. All these other races of women don't want to date black men. Most people from most races would prefer to date within their race. Of course, you have the outliers. 
I and mean, of course you have people who don't really care, they just date whoever they like. Most people want to date within their race. Okay, there's someone staring at me. Who's staring at you? That one. Who? That one. This guy? Yeah. Are you are you positive it was this guy? Yeah, you're such a loser. I'm done. Wanna hear likes? Before we go any further, let me just clarify something real quick. For all you racist Latinos, Arabs, and Indians who have something to say about these videos and you think I'm making these videos because I'm upset because I'm trying to get black men to get with non-black females and you're saying that I think you're racist because you don't approve of that, you're right. You damn right. Of course, yes. That's what I want. That's what we want. Yes, we want to sleep with your females. Because anytime you can sleep with ours, we should be able to... <laughs> At least he's dying on business. I have to, hey, at least, he said, yeah, I want to take all your women. I don't give a fuck. Sleep with yours as well. Damn right I'm upset. Yeah, I am, yes. A lot of Arab and brown Muslim women always reach out to me and ask me, how do I tell my parents about the black man that I'm interested in? There's a lot of Muslim women out there that are Arab and brown, and they don't know how to come and talk to their parents about the man that they're interested in simply because he's black, simply because their parents have iterated to them again and again and again, no black men no black men. They'll even be like, if they're Arab, they'll be like, okay, any other Arab country is fine. And if they're Daisy, they'll be like, okay, any other Daisy kind of is fine. But like, what? Like, what? How, how are they even determining the value of a man? By his skin color? That's not Islam. So if you're having trouble and you don't know how to reach out to your parents, go to marriageishalal.com. We'll try to help you out. You can book a consultation with us. But at the end of the day, you can go anywhere and you can talk to anyone and you can open up the Quran for yourself. There is nowhere that says... Okay, so let me give you guys a little history. Actually, should I give you a history or my history first? Let me give you guys a little history lesson first, okay? So, why are Arabs racist towards black people? Because they are. This is a stone cold fact, undeniable fact. They're racist towards black people the same way why some white people are racist towards black people. Slavery, right? This idea of superiority is passed down from generation to generation. Just like for black people, there is a, a hatred towards white people. Not all black people, but there's a hatred towards white people that some black people have that's been passed down from generation to generation, right? Superiority, hatred, both passed down. The Arabs are no different. The Arabs enslaved Africans for 1,300 years, the longest slave trade ever in the history of humankind. So the fact that they are so racist is not a coincidence. They just don't mess with black folk, right? Especially the older generation. The younger generation, for the most part, we're cool. You know, we grew up inclusive society, liberalism. We're cool. All the ones who are actually making the decisions, they will disown, a lot of them will disown their kids if they date black, okay? Now, South Asians, why are the South Asians racist? Well, during the slave trade, the Arabs sold slaves to South Asia, which is why the colorism is so bad out there. So they also don't like black people, okay? Now, for me, I have a little history in this, you know what I'm saying? I've dated an Arab Muslim. I was actually with one for like almost four years, okay? Her family was extremely racist okay which is why i never met them she wanted she wanted us to be like right on the edge of getting married before i met especially her mom because her mom and her aunties were racist okay but these women they love the bbc they do they do and i think like this guy said it is because we are we are like the forbidden fruit their parents forbid them dating us and they just grew up with that intrigue and it's like, hmm. And it builds and it builds and it builds. All of a sudden she's sneaking out at night. It gets all crazy. Y'all don't even know how often this happens in Arab families. It's insane. When I was younger, we were told that if any of our siblings got married to a black person, that we were going to be disowned for life. So you heard it from the horse's mouth. An Arab girl, she said... They will be disowned if they was to marry a black guy. Now, the crazy thing about this is that these are the people who black people are giving their money. They hate your guts. They're the same like these racist Latinos. They can't stand you. I haven't been to an Arab or Latino corner store in damn near five years. Because I don't want to give them my money. And I want them to close down. And I have family members that have... Oh, this guy's a hater. Oh, this guy's a hater. I've married someone black and 
have been disowned from other family members for life. Got inside eyed at family events. Talk shit about by all the aunties. Meanwhile, their 70 year old husband is looking for his third wife. Like, come on now. Because racism is still very much alive in the Muslim Ummah. Racism has not been eradicated. In fact, the only people that don't face racism in the Muslim Ummah are people that have the skin color like me or lighter. Brown Muslims don't face racism, so they say it doesn't exist. They say there is no racism in Islam because I don't face it. Black Muslims are saying that they're facing racism from brown Muslims. So we got to believe them. And number one, we need to stop it. This liquor got me get my zone Now I'm blowing up your phone Blowing we smoke in the ozone